The A320 fuel system is very much like a conventional jet aircraft fuel system. It has fuel tanks located in the center fuselage area and the wings. The center tank is located in the fuselage. The inner tanks are located in the wings. And the outer tanks are located in the wings. Two fuel pumps are installed in the center tank. And two fuel pumps are installed in each inner tank. Two transfer valves allow fuel to transfer from the outer tanks to the inner tanks. Each inner tank feeds its respective engine. Two engine low pressure valves are installed to cut off fuel to the engines. The center tank also feeds the engines. A cross feed valve is fitted to connect or isolate the left and right sides. The fuel system also feeds the APU. A low pressure valve is fitted to cut off fuel to the APU. This represents the basic fuel system. We will now see how this information is presented to the pilots in the cockpit. You can see that all the components we have talked about are displayed on the ECAM page. Let's briefly review the basic system using the ECAM fuel page. The center tank in the fuselage, the inner tanks in the wings, the outer tanks in the wings, the fuel pumps, the transfer valves, the engine LP valves, the crossfeed valve, the APU LP valve. These indications are outer tank fuel quantity, inner tank fuel quantity, center tank fuel quantity, fuel on board, FOB, fuel used quantity, outer tank temperature, inner tank temperature, The fuel panel is located on the overhead panel. Each wing tank pump is controlled by its associated push button switch on the fuel panel. Each center tank pump is controlled by its respective push button switch. The mode select push button switch enables the pilot to run the two center tank pumps in automatic or manual mode. The cross feed push button switch enables the pilot to connect or isolate the left and right sides of the fuel system.